Welcome to our show. Today's show, we're going to talk about autism. I'm sure all of you have heard of autistic uh, behavior. You've heard of children who have autism. Um, did you know that in the Middle East, 60 out of 10,000 cases have autism? Autism has increased and it's four times more in boys than in girls. Now, of course, autism has a lot of um, reasons. There's genetic, environmental, and biological but we'll talk about all that when we come back I'm going to show you a video of someone who has autism just so you'd understand the experience of a kid with autistic behaviors and then we'll come back and talk more about what you saw stay tuned Somewhere fun today. Are you all right? What gift have you got, Sam? <laughs> it's just a calculator. Off somewhere fun today. Are you all right? Off somewhere fun today. Are you all right? What gift did you get, Sam? Is it a calculator? <laughs> Sorry, did he scare you? What are you doing? You're trying to kill yourself. Are you blind? Have you seen this epic fail? What's that like? Have you seen this epic fail? Somewhere fun today. Are you all right? What are you doing? You're trying to kill yourself. Are you blind? Did he scare you? Is it a calculator? Sorry, did he scare you? I thought you were going to do We're out of packets. Do you want to see the special? Can we get fast? Are you okay? How can I help? I'm autistic. Welcome back. So what did you think about the video? What did you think about the experience these autistic kids have? It's so interesting because a lot of times we don't really understand their emotions. We don't really understand that they are just like us. They just think different, but they've got the same brain. They think, they have feelings, but their expression is just different. Now, autistic spectrum disorder as I said, it's four times more in boys than in girls. It is diagnosed more in boys. Now, it has a lot of relation to genetics, also environmental. Something happens when the mom is pregnant. We also have biological. Now, there are a lot of reasons why someone might have autistic behaviors or autism. The idea is that it's not for me to be able to explain autism to you as much as I would like to bring awareness to how these kids really feel. I've picked this video because it's very important that we understand their emotions. Did you know autistic kids are at risk of being bullied? Do you know they're bombarded by a lot of these thoughts and people requesting from them on a daily basis? Did you see how they feel pressured and they know that they're different? but they don't want to be treated as different. I know that there's no real cure for autism, but it does not mean that we can't educate our kids who are not autistic on how to treat kids that are autistic. It is very important that we empathize and that we teach our children how to empathize with kids that have autism. Autism is a disorder. It's not an illness, it's not a disease, it's a disorder. Some of these kids have borderline intellectual abilities. Intellectual ability has been tampered or minimized. 
They also need special treatment. But it is our job to be able to detect it, to get their treatment as fast as they can. Now when I come back, I will talk about some of the treatments out there and what should you do if you have a concern that your kid might be autistic or if your kid is going to a school with an autistic child or if you have a child that's autistic, how you should prepare your family on how to deal with their autism. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So do you have a kid who's autistic? Do you have a kid, do you know someone that has autism? Now, as I said, the cases of autistic children have been increasing. And we know more because genetically we have realized that it has become increasingly higher genetically. Now, if you have autism or any other spectrum disorders in your family, there's a probably a high case that you will have one or someone you know will. Every one of us at least knows one or two cases of autistic children. I know that at first when the kid is born you can't detect it until there are three. And then you realize certain symptoms, for example, they are not talkative. They are, live in their selves, that's why we call it a me disorder. They like to play by themselves, they don't create relationships, even their language is delayed. If your kid has any of these symptoms, you're realizing no eye contact. They enjoy repetitive play, for example. They like anything that's circle. They like to repeat things and they don't get bored. If you're realizing that these are some of the symptoms you've noticed with your kid, you probably want to get them tested. They might not have autism, but they might have something else. I know it's hard as parents to realize that our kid has this disorder because then we have to make a lot of changes in our routine and our schedule, the type of treatment we want to give them. The treatments are out there, but we have to be able to accept. There are parents that I know don't want to accept that their kid has autism and they delay their treatment. I also know families that they will abuse, physically abuse their child because they're autistic, because they're not understanding this is not a choice. If you know someone that's autistic, or if you have a child who's autistic, please get them help. They need, they need treatment, they also need evaluation, they need special school, and they need special treatment. But remember, they are just like you and I. With proper treatment, early intervention, you might be able to get them sufficient enough to be able to be sufficient as adults. You never know, spectrum disorder has different severe, mild and, moderate, and mild. So you don't know which spectrum are they on, but it's our job to detect it. It's also our job to help our kids to understand that this is not someone that has a disease and we leave them alone. We have to teach our children that are not autistic how to play with an autistic child, how to create a relationship, and understand that they live within their own mind. These are always important information that we need to share with other people who are autistic or are struggling with kids that have autism. Now remember, all this information is for you to be able to go out there and find help. Remember, we always keep it positive.